Hey folks, Matt Sharp here with another Pacific Angler video. This week we're filming another episode of What's in My Fly Box. This is a fun series where we get to dive into my box, the boxes of our staff on the floor, stuff that they're out guiding, stuff that they're out personal fishing for different fisheries. So you guys can copy a similar box, tie these patterns yourself, or come into the shop and purchase them so you can round out a box that's going to maximize your time on these specific fisheries. Now we've done it for coho, we've done it for cutthroat, we've done it for steelhead, we've done it for a couple other boxes I'm gonna leave links to those down in the description if those things might interest you but this week we are looking at what's in my lake box now it's a daunting task because if you guys know me this thing is my lake box they call it the mothership it's way too big but I do have fun toting it around I'm gonna break down what's in there but I'm also gonna break down what you guys might want if you want a smaller box the essentials that you're going to need to go up BC lake fishing in the interior or locally here around Vancouver stuff that I wouldn't leave home without and stuff that you might consider putting in a box. Also, at the end of this whole thing, we're gonna be giving away one of our chronomid boxes. It's a selection of my favorite chronomid patterns for free, but you're gonna to have to stick around until the end of the video for details on how you can enter. As always, guys, you wanna see more videos like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get into her. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. This is one that I'm gonna have some fun with. Uh, first off, because I go to a lake with a ton of patterns, and I can't stress that enough. Don't just take one of these patterns in your box. Always put at least multiples of two, if not four or five. You're gonna see in my box, I sometimes step up to dozens of a pattern that I know is going to work, just because I don't wanna run out. There's nothing worse than having a pattern work and not have enough of them. So what we've done this week, if I've built two boxes, because we couldn't break it down into just one, so I've got a basic chronomid box that is gonna cover everything you guys need for the early season. We're gonna to touch base on that last, so if you're chronomy guys, stay tuned. But first off, I wanted to talk about the bread and butter patterns. Bread and butter patterns are ones that you don't have to put much thought into. They're great for dragging around, for trolling, for covering ground. And I've got a box here for you guys uh, that's going to do that. Now we're gonna break down these patterns. I've got 10 of them that I would not leave home without. And we're gonna start off first, and I'm gonna start off with the classic. Please, if you're an advanced lake fisherman, don't tune out. I'm gonna have some good ones next. But I couldn't start off a lake box without putting the Doc Spratly in it. Now this pattern has hooked a ton of fish for me. If you're gonna drag around a one pattern in a lake, this is probably it. In this box, we're gonna have it in red and in black. I can't stress having this enough, not because you might wanna be just trolling all day long. A lot of you guys wanna dial in a spot, anchor up, get it really figured out. But finding that spot can be hard, and if you're not sure what you need to put on, just throw on one of these patterns, drag it around the lake a bit, get a feel for what's going on in the lake, then consider anchoring when nature has told you what she needs to tell you uh, when it comes to chronomid fish or cast and strip fishing with different patterns. So make sure you have some Spratleys in your box. The next one I am going to recommend that you all have in your box is a very versatile pattern. It's one you've heard us talk about before. It's Andre's Mini Leech. Now this is a very simple pattern with a red bead in it, uh, but the cool thing about this pattern is it sort of does two jobs for you. Now, put it behind that trolling line, put it on that sinking line and strip it with a one, two, three pop. One, two, three pop is very, very effective. But because this pattern is designed to be extremely light, it fishes under an indicator well. Now, what do I mean by that? When you guys are indicator fishing, if you have a pattern that's super heavy and very static and just sits there, it's not going to be as productive as a pattern that moves and breathes in the water. Now, we've seen some more advanced stuff where they're doing jig style patterns to achieve this, but this guy doubles down because you can drag it, it's linear enough that it can be pulled through the water cleanly, but because it's so light, it's gonna move in the currents of the lake. It's a really good one to have in your kit when you're switching between indicator fishing and a cast and strip or a troll. So make sure you have those in your box. In this bread and butter box, we've got a selection of those guys. Now, pumpkin heads. 
this one is a no-brainer and it imitates a lot of different things. It looks a little bit like a damsel, it looks a little bit like a dragonfly, has that wonderful orange hotspot bead in the front of it. And again, this is a great one for trolling, a great one for cast and retrieve. And I have seen guys put it under an indicator, though it's not really designed for that, it does work. So we've got a selection of those. I've got an unweighted version, the classic with the uh, standard orange bead. You want to have those. But then I've also got a weighted version to get you down just a little bit deeper and give a little bit more of a twitch as you're going. Now, on the leech front, we can't get away from that. I've got Andre's Blood Leech, which is a bead-headed one, so it's a little bit heavier. It's not designed to be fished under an indicator. Again, it's a cast and strip style pattern. It has a wonderful blood red underbody to a rabbit uh, black outer body, so it strips and moves in the water really nicely. And then we've got the Little Fort Leech. It's a classic one. It's got that red tuft on the on the top. It incorporates that same orange bead. And again, if I'm going to be dragging a pattern around a lake, I'm going to be casting and retrieving on a lake. It's one of the first things I go to. Now I've got a couple more contemporary patterns in this box that you guys will want to consider to round out that cast and strip troll style box. And they are boobies and blobs. Now these have become popular in the last sort of five to eight years really good general attractor patterns. The booby is designed to actually move very much like a hatching insect, but it looks nothing like a hatching insect. I'll show you guys here in the box, it's got these foam uh, pieces to it. And I actually saw this first when I was competition fishing in the UK nearly 20 years ago, and they've become really popular locally. How you're gonna fish them is with a sinking line because you need something to pull them down. But every time you strip, it's gonna pull down and then it's gonna drift back up to the surface. We've got the famous tequila style combination where it's sort of an orange and yellow combination. We've got a green combination, and then we've got a more natural olive combination that I think is a good one to have in your kit. The blob goes very much similar on that line. Now it's something you can fish under an indicator and just leave out there, or or just slow strip moving it through an area to elicit an aggressive bite. We have no clue what these look like, but they catch a ton of fish and if you're stuck and you can't really match that hatch and dial things on, being if you're indicator fishing like we're going to talk about in the chronomid box, or you're looking at leeches, dragons, damsels, that kind of thing, throwing these in the kit is very, very useful. Now, lastly, we have some very small leeches. Now, Zach ties these and they're really good when it comes to either indicator fishing or cast and strip. I don't troll these very much, but they're micro leeches and we've got a selection of them from olive uh, to maroon like this one and then some black ones as well because again, you can't go home without small leeches and they're really small but very, very effective. Okay, I am almost done, but we couldn't finish this box off without another classic. It is the vampire leech. It's something I use a lot. I keeps throwing it out there and it keeps catching fish. And the vampire leech is this guy, this purple combination. We've got two head colors on them. We've got the chartreuse head as well as the orange head. Very, very effective cast and strip or trolling pattern. You go to any of the interior lakes right now, you're gonna see those in the kits of the lodges. And it's just because they catch a ton of fish. So definitely one you want in your kit. Funnily enough, we had it in the cutthroat kit uh, previously, so you can steal that one and move it over to your lake box now that we're in lake season. Okay, so that's the bread and butter stuff. Nothing fancy, but it's gonna cover you really well. I could take this box to any lake with a sinking line and catch fish in the BC interior or even closer to home in the local lakes. But let's talk chronomids because when you can dial it in, it's pretty much the most productive way you can fish. Fished under an indicator, very, very, very slow retrieve. And when you dial in the depth, it's so productive that you can't overlook it. And it's a lovely way to fish. It's actually pretty easy when you think about the casting that goes into it, because you don't need to cast far, you don't need to cast long. Come into the shop, let us walk you through how to rig a chronomid if you don't know, but this is our chronomid box. It's a really cool box actually. It's uh, magnetic boxes and we've got really cost effective. You see I can dump them out, nothing's going to fall out of that and that's key when it comes to chronomids because they're a pain in the butt because they're so small. Now what have I got in here? Well the first thing we've got is a red and black ribbed chronomid. I've got a couple of those in there for you, definitely recommend it. This is probably one of the first go-to patterns that I throw down when I'm trying to figure out a hatch. 
The second one is a very similar uh, ice cream cone style pattern. What do I mean by ice cream cone style pattern? These are the ones that have a white bead on the front, like the ice cream, so to say, and then a tapered body down. This is a green one, relatively large. We want a selection of sizes. I've got one large green one and one smaller green one in this kit so you can cover your scenarios. Same set on the black side of things. I've got a black ice cream cone style pattern in here for you, as well as some smaller black with some accents to them. Now, an accent on a condiment is interesting. When you look at the real life ones, they've got sort of like a burnt orange sort of wing to them where they're about to hatch out of. And it's a cool little addition. I've got a couple good ones in here for you on that front. Now, blended chronomids. You guys have probably seen our blended chronomid videos, and Zach has a couple cool custom ties in here. He's got a black rib, a maroon rib, and an olive rib, chromey style pattern. So it's a flash body where he's put thread over top of them. What's why for the flash? Well, what happens when a chronomid hatches is that oxygen builds up under its exoskeleton, and that oxygen rises them up from the bottom of the lake. Now, the wonder of a silver chronomid is that you don't have to match the color hue perfectly because in any given hatch, there's always gonna be silver looking or mercury flashing colored chronomids. We have found that adding a hint of color that is similar to the actual chronomids color does up the ante. And so because of that, we've got those three basic staple colors in here, maroon, black, and green. Now, lastly, we have a true gunmetal chromey, which is that gunmetal color, again, getting that flash of gray in there, and then a black and silver rib style chronomid that you definitely won't want to go home without. So that, guys, is the chronomid box and the meat and potatoes box. We have these guys for sale at the shop in limited quantities. We've got a couple cool promotions going on with them. Now, I'm going to leave links to how to tie all the patterns that we have videos on already down in the links below. I've got the blended chronomid up here, as well as a couple other ones. But if you guys wanted to purchase this box, please call into the shop or email at sales at pacificangler.ca. Now the meat and potatoes box, all those bigger trolling patterns you have are going to come in at 149. It is 35 flies. A number of them are custom tied, so they're a little bit more expensive. So it's a great deal. You're gonna get a number of free flies as well as a deal on this great box, Pacific Angler Logo box. Silicone insert, so it's gonna last forever. It is waterproof. So call in if you're interested in that. We have limited numbers of these boxes, so you're gonna to wanna to react quickly. And then the chronomid box, like I said, is super cool. It's in this magnetic kit, which can carry a ton of chronomids, and they're really easy to sort of scoop out with your fingers, so you're not fumbling with really small patterns. You can see I can dump the whole thing out and nothing's gonna fall here. This guy is gonna be running $74.99, which again is a good deal. There's a number of free patterns in here, as well as a deal on the box. Uh, so call it in if you want one. Now, if you buy both of these boxes, we're up in the ante, we're throwing in a freebie, and this is our indicator kit. We got these cool boxes, and they're again logoed with us, but this is the perfect kit for holding your essentials when it comes to indicator fishing. We have a selection of indicator sizes, so ones for calm days, ones for windy, tough days. We've also got your swivels, which are gonna help attach your leaders and tip it, as well as a selection of split shots. So you're in the game, really easy, convenient box. These boxes sell for $20 if you just wanna pick up one, but if you wanna buy both boxes, the chronomid box and the meat and potatoes box, we're gonna throw in one of these for free as well. So it's a great savings for you guys. Lastly, we're giving one of these boxes away for free. We're gonna be giving the chronomid box away for free. That's a $74 value. All you guys have to do to enter is like this video right down in the description that I want the box. And in two weeks in the Friday Fishing Report, I'm gonna be pulling names out of a hat again like we did last time, and someone's gonna win this box. If you're in the lower mainland, I'm gonna ship it to you for free. If it's outside of the lower mainland, we are gonna charge you a little bit of shipping and handling, but it's gonna be done at our cost. As always, guys, I hope you like this. We're going to bring more lake stuff because I just can't cover everything in the mothership in one episode. But I hope this is going to help you round out a box. And if you want to check out some of those other videos, I'm going to throw the cutthroat box up here as well as the coho box right here so you can take a look at those if you're interested. As always, if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you in the next one.